Alright, now let's talk about the inverse hyperbolic functions. Okay? Let's say we have the function x equals sine hyperbolic y. And I want to describe the inverse function, that is y equals sine hyperbolic inverse x, right? So, I may just want to rewrite this as half of e to the power x take away e to the power negative x, right? Okay, the, uh, that's a y, sorry. Okay, there it goes. So, just multiplying both sides by 2, I get something like this. And using a little algebra, I get an equation like so. Right? Which is a quadratic in e to the power y. Let's say this is p. So, the equation is something like p squared negative 2xp negative 1 equals 0. So p comes out to be, the roots basically come out to be x plus root or negative plus minus root x squared plus 1. Now what is p? p is an exponential function. An exponential function, as we all know, is always positive. You can see the graph there. It's always positive. So p is always positive. So I'll just remove the negative and take the positive root. So p comes out to be x plus root x squared plus 1 and p is nothing but e to the power y okay there so taking log on both sides I get y equals equals log of x plus root of course the natural log there and this is y and y is sine hyperbolic inverse x so that's how you define the hyperbolic inverse sine x okay and you can use the same method to solve for cos hyperbolic inverse x and this comes out to be since there will be a positive here this will give you a negative here right now where have we seen this functions I think these look familiar let's take the integral of 1 over okay I'll take a um, let's start with root of 1 plus x squared okay so this comes out to be something like this isn't it let's see now what is this this is simply sine hyperbolic inverse x isn't it so the integral of this is sine hyperbolic inverse x similarly the integral if you find out tan hyperbolic inverse x and solve the quadratic equation in the same way I did for sine you get something like this which is nothing but the integral of 1 over 1 minus x squared so this is simply tan hyperbolic inverse x. So that's where you can see inverse hyperbolic functions. So you can find out all the inverse hyperbolic functions and we'll just do a question there. We have tan hyperbolic inverse x and we have to prove this to be equal to sine hyperbolic inverse x over root 1 minus x squared okay now we know that sine hyperbolic inverse x is this as I just proved to you guys okay so what will be sine hyperbolic inverse x over root 1 minus x squared it would be equal to log of x over root 1 minus x squared plus root of x squared that would be x squared over 1 minus x squared right plus a 1 so this is okay let's just solve this using some algebra we get here 
x over root 1 minus x squared plus an x squared plus 1 minus x squared over 1 minus x squared just taking a common denominator this gets cancelled out so we get this right now this can be written you just factor this out and you get this this can be written as this and in the numerator you already have an x plus 1 see this gets cancelled out and you get a root here so we have root x plus 1 over x minus 1 and this is inside the log now I can write this as log of x plus 1 x minus 1 to the power half which can come out of the log giving you what is called tan hyperbolic inverse x isn't it because this will give you this half log mod of 1 plus x 1 minus x so hence this is proof okay